UCF goes to Lubbock for the first time. Texas Tech is a two and a half point home favorite, and the total sits at 60 on this one. Uh, it's 4 p.m. Central Time on FS2. That's right. We got us an FS2 game on this. And pull it up on the screen. Texas Tech by 3.72 when you look at the full season numbers. Uh, UCF's defense, pretty good against the pass, uh, but Texas Tech has not been good at passing the ball. UCF, terrible against the run. Now, we saw what they did to Oklahoma State last week. We saw that. They smushed that team. Uh, but UCF still number 121 in predicted points allowed per rush. Texas Tech is number 42 in that metric on the full season. Looking at uh, what UCF has done on offense, uh, significantly better than what Texas Tech has been on defense. PPA per pass, they're number 11. Texas Tech's defense number 44. Uh, number 28 in PPA per rush, and Texas Tech's defense is number 67. Gus Malzahn's offense is clicking here, at least for the full season. Uh, you see it, number 26 in the country in predicted points added per drive. Uh, they're number 31 in PPA margin. Texas Tech is number 72, and yet this game is in Lubbock. Right? Let's look at the last four weeks. All of a sudden, UCF is favored by 11.02 because Texas Tech has just been all over the place. Now, they do have Baron Morton back. That is something to pay attention to. But UCF fighting for a bowl. Both of these teams are fighting for a bowl game. And while Texas Tech at home uh, also fighting for a bowl game, you know, they have to play Texas next week. UCF, I think, is the better football team, which is kind of Kind of nuts. I mean, this thing was Texas Tech minus three. It's been bet down to two and a half. And I think this number right here would tell you that that's why, right? I mean, it's, it's UCF's rushing defense is certainly uh, part of this equation. But again, when you look at that offense, uh, I think they're going to be able to score on Texas Tech. And I, I think Kansas beats Texas Tech last week if, uh, if their quarterback didn't get injured, right? Jason Bean uh, got hurt. I think they probably win that game if Bean had stayed in the game. So you look at some of these numbers, uh, both of these teams, I mean, this is going to be a volatile football game. High variance, number 114 turnover margin against number 118. Um, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. UCF is much more explosive. They're number three in net explosiveness. Texas Tech is number 63. I am going to go with UCF on the road, even even in Lubbock. I, I think this seems better. Um, Better than they've showed. Now, obviously, turnovers can skew anything. But we'll see about that. We will see what ends up happening. All right. UCF plus two and a half on it, that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.